said, you know, see, obesity is something which sometimes can be genetically transferred. Like when a, there is enough evidence to show that when the mother, the baby is in the mother's womb, if the mother has got obesity, or if the mother has got insulin resistance, or if the mother has got hyperandrogenemia, by which we mean excessive male hormone in the body, which causes her all the you know the facial hair, the loss of hair from her scalp, etc. If she gets pregnant while she has all these hormonal issues. Then the atmosphere inside the uterus to which the baby is subjected undergoes a change, what you call an epigenetic change. It's not that there is a genetic transition, but it is the bad environment inside that mother's womb which is causing the problem. And therefore, we say women should preconceptually, even before getting pregnant, please see a doctor, get things under control, and only then get pregnant. That's message number one. So the problem can start for a child right from the time the child is in the mother's womb. Now suppose that child is genetically, epigenetically, little you know heavy or little overweight. And nowadays in India you see that everyone's very happy with seeing little chubby children and they say oh my child is so healthy. But they don't know that the child is actually unhealthy if he's overweight. So we have to maintain that weight because till the age of six it's known that if that obesity persists after the age of six or even if the child is lean before six and at six that child suddenly starts putting on weight that is the worst scenario those are the children who will as they grow older become obese and that obesity then they stays lifelong and it's very difficult to get rid of that obesity and therefore we recommend that all children should be exposed to a lot of physical activity and this is one thing I've recommended to the government being on the C20, that is the uh, civic arm of the women of the of the G20 team, we have had meetings with the government, talking to them about what we think they need to do. And the two messages I have pushed forward is that every child should have a, a sports uh, session in school as a compulsory session every single day. Because when children go home, their mothers are in a hurry to send them to this class and the other class because they want the child to be academically on the list on the top and therefore they they do not allow them to have any physical activity that doesn't happen so let's have it in school to just get done and the second thing is wrong eating there's a lot of unhealthy food being served to children there is things like you know fries are being given mcdonald's hamburgers pizzas everything which is i'm not saying pizza is bad but but the thing is that anything which is deep fried, anything which is um, you know full of sugar, like cakes and pastries and you know desserts, um, you know lollipops, ca- candies, chocolates, all this is not good for the child. So in short, restrict all that kind of food and don't make it available in schools in the canteens. I think these are two messages given through the to the C20 to the government and I do hope someday I live to see that happening and we feel that children are not obese they should be healthy they should be running around so that's the first thing I tell my patients if they tell me my child is very skinny I say does he play around or does he stay in bed or he's sick oh doc he's all over the place he's running all the time I said good he's a healthy child he should leave him and let him grow there so I think this is important for us to avoid childhood obesity because that goes into adolescent obesity and that goes into adult obesity creating all the problems for PCOS. If PCOS is accompanied by obesity, it causes much more problems than when the PCOS patient is lean. Unfortunately, 80% of our PCOS patients are obese or overweight and 20% are healthy. So I think that should more or less give you a gist of what I'm trying to say. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like subscribe and press the bell icon.